Hello everyone! Today we have news from the world of rhythmic gymnastics. Today we will discuss about awards in gymnastics, recall the conflict with VADA and the likelihood of depriving Russian athletes of the right to participate in the Olympics. About the next online tournament, we will also discuss the latest news of the European Championship, who is declared for the tournament and what conflicts are associated with the refusal of countries to participate. And of course, I'll tell you about the conflict between the head coach of the national team of Belarus and Ukraine. I'll also tell you about other small insights. The video as a whole has turned out to be very interesting. So stock up on tea and let's get started. The communication educational platform Sport as a Business has created an independent rating of top 100 professionals of the sports industry, which included the head coach of the Russian national rhythmic gymnastics team and president of the All-Russian Federation of Rhythmic Gymnastics, Irina Alexandrovna Vinrosman. She was awarded in the category Management of Sports Federation, Association and Union. Also, the Ministry of Sports of the Russian Federation has been holding a National Sports Award for 11 years in a row, in which it awards the best, outstanding people who have dedicated their life to sports. 18 winners in different nominations are determined. They received the title of laureate and 1 million rubles. The National Sport Award was established by government in 2000. This year, Irina Alexandrovna Wiener was nominated as the Coach of the Year, and Dina Verina was nominated as the Athlete of the Year. The award ceremony will take place in December. Meanwhile, in sports, arbitration hearings have already begun in the case of Vada and Rosada. The decision is promised to be published no later than on the end of November. What we have been discussing for a long time, but have forgotten because of other more important news, and the problem has not gone away at the moment. Russian athletes may still be deprived of their right to participate in the Olympics. I had a whole series of videos about the scandal, so whoever has not watched the video with detailed information, you can find on the channel. Shortly, in December 2019, for changes in the doping databases, VADA suspended Russian athletes from participating in international competition under its national flag for four years, and banned Russia from accepting tournaments and applying for them. Rosada has has appealed the decision and on November 5th the judges will hold a meeting and prepare a decision. It is hard to say when we will find out about it, but it may happen much earlier than at the end of November. Irina Wiener has not yet made any special comments on this conflict and is waiting for a final verdict. And if Russia is banned from performing at the Olympics under the Russian flag, the head coach will have to decide whether the athletes will go to the Olympics under a neutral flag or ignore the competition completely. The the first composition of the Russian national team in group exercises was ill with coronavirus and served in quarantine. Now the girls have returned to trainings. Where the gymnast caught the virus, it was not possible to establish. However, Irina Alexandrovna said that they flew from the training camp on a charter flight and there was no one there except the athletes of the national team. After the second online tournament, by the way, you can find out how it went from a separate video, the All-Russian Federation of Rhythmic gymnastics has already appointed a new online tournament. To date, all gymnasts who took part in the second online tournament have confirmed their participation in the tournament. It is possible that more countries will appear that will be ready to perform. The competition for now is scheduled for 20th of December, so on this day the third international online tournament in rhythmic gymnastics will take place, and in January in Russia it is planned to hold the Russian Championship. Now it is planned to add to each event. Since in connection with the situation of coronavirus in many countries, it is difficult to say what will happen in Russia and how things will be in general with competitions and various mass activities. But let's hope that everything will work out. At least that's all we can do. As I said in previous videos, an international tournament will be held in Minsk from 5th to 9th of November. Gymnasts from Russia and Ukraine were supposed to come to it and it was with them that difficulties arose. The Russian team refused to participate in the tournament due to the fact that there are no tickets either there or back. But with the national team of Ukraine, judging by social networks, there was a more serious conflict. Irina Liparska, the head coach of the national team of Belarus, posted a very interesting screen of the correspondence with Irina Dirugina on her Instagram, in which 
which Irina Liparskaya reapproaches the Ukrainian national team that it was for them that the status was made competitions in accordance with FISH. I suppose that additional money and additional effort and time were spent on this, so the anger I think is justified here. And judging by the message, Irina Dirugina justified not arrival of her team by the lack of tickets, although according to the coach of Belarus, tickets exist. In general, a rather ambitious situation. If you remember, I recently told you that Ukraine was included in the list of countries that need to withstand a 10-day quarantine upon entering Belarus. Perhaps this was the main reason why the Ukrainian team refused to go to the tournament, or the Ukrainian national team was not given money for the trip. But the question with Irina Liparskaya also arises, why does she publish personal correspondence? For the world of gymnastics, this fact is definitely not characteristic, especially from the head coach of the national team. But I even like it. Perhaps now everything in gymnastics will become more open and not conserved. Write in the comments what do you think about this conflict and whom do you support? Irina Liparska, that she published a personal correspondence, or Irina Dirugina, who ignored and did not answer calls and messages, given that for their sake Belarus was bothering with the status of the tournament. I think it will be interesting to read and discuss. Well, and some more news about the European Championship, which is planned from 26th to 29th of November in Kyiv. It seems to me that we have never discussed the upcoming stars so much, although this is not surprising, because in fact these are only the major competitions that will be held this year. And despite the fact that most countries will not take play part in them, this tournament will be at least interesting for those that for the first time in a long time, not a Russian gymnast will become the European champion. This is how the list of gymnasts who will take part in the tournament was published. Again, it is important to say that at the moment everything can change and I will announce the exact list of athletes specifically before the start. Meanwhile, we can only discuss those whom we are supposed to expect. Of the senior gymnasts, we know Arjulia Lilova, a gymnast representing Azerbaijan, Alina Garnoiskoy and Anastasia Salas from Belarus have been announced for the tournament, although a, a strike can be expected here due to the conflict of the head coaches. Bulgarian gymnast Katrin Tasi and Bariana Kalein, Victoria Bagdanova is an Estonian gymnast, Elena Kilaiditi from Greece, Fanny Paginitse from Hungary, Inoya Shram and Nicole Zilikman from Israel, Elisaveta Polsnaya from Latvia, Andrea Verdes and Denis Mailad, Vlada Nikolchenka and Victoria Naprienka from Ukraine, and Ekaterina Vidineva from Slovenia. So 27 federations. 9 group teams and 75 juniors are planning to come. I'm sure that this figure will decrease farther, but I hope not by much. Well, it is worth recalling that this European Championship was supposed to be a qualifying for the Olympics, but due to the fact that most countries will not be able to come to due to the security reasons, the selection was postponed to 2021. So in fact, only the title of the European Championship will be played here. A very interesting refusal to participate in the European Championship came from the Portuguese Gymnastics Federation. So in a statement, Portugal mentioned that it considers Ukraine and Turkey to be countries with an unfavorable epidemic and relatively fragile health systems. It is in these countries that the European Championships in rhythmic gymnastics and in artistic gymnastics will be held. What a specific accusation! I could not have specified it. It seems to me that they are worried about their health, but it even sounds like some kind of an insult. Write what do you think about it in the comments. Well, and one more news that may affect the holding of the European Championship in Kyiv. Since in Ukraine, now the situation with COVID is far from being the best, the decision has been made in the country to turn the sports palace, where it was planned to hold the tournament, into a temporary hospital. There is no information yet when the gym will be converted into a temporarily filled hospital, so it is difficult to say how this will affect the European Championship. I think there are two options. The European Championship will be cancelled or transferred to another hall, although it seems to me that when there is so much talk about the European Championship, it would be a sin to cancel it. I am sure now people will appear in the comments who will write that I am sick of my European Championship, people's health and life are more expensive, and I completely agree with you. But I also want championships. At the last moment, the Italian national team refused to participate in the tournament, although a week ago Milena Baldassari and Alexandra Giorgio Calesi 
were announced for the tournament. Gymnasts who took the first place and the second place respectively in the national tournament. So Milena Baldassari became the new absolute champion of Italy, gaining 92 points and 500s in the all-around. But Alexandra Giorgio Colesi won all three apparatus according to estimates and only took 11th place in the ribbon and therefore dropped to the second step. Sofia Raffaele, who at the recent tournament overtook the girls, here took third place behind her teammates by six points. And finally, good news from the bronze medalist of Olympic Games, Anna Bisonova. Anya had had a boy on November 4th. Congratulations to Anya and her family on this new addition. At least something pleasant ha is happening in a series of sad events. Well, that's it for today. Remember that I love you all, and we'll see you very soon in the next video. For now, goodbye. The video was translated and dubbed by Alexandra Sinica.